So I'm here today to talk about Dragon Ball Super Yay! Now there's gonna be two links in the box below. The first thing is gonna be an article on Ammon News Network, and the second one is gonna be an article on Say and Now. Now I'm gonna spend a few minutes talking about Dragon Ball Super, and then I'm gonna move the fuck on. Now. You guys already know by now. If you don't know, now you know, no, no. Dragon Ball Super will be airing July 5th and a corner say an island. They're not too sure, kind of ish, sort of maybe. It's not like definitive at this point in time, but Dragon Ball Super is going to be 100 episodes long, which in my personal opinion is too much. That's that's my opinion. That being said, from my understanding, it's going to be through and through. It's not going to be seasonal. It should be done seasonal. It really should. You know, take a break after doing 20 or 25 episodes. It's better that way, in my personal opinion. But it's Toei. Like, <laughs> Toei, they have their animators work day and night, like slaves, son. Straight up. Day and night. Oh, oh, the lone stoner seems to free his mind and night. But the whole point here is that, from my understanding, it's going to be a hundred episodes long through and through, which means that's going to be comprised of several arcs. I mean, I don't see them having one arc for a hundred fucking episodes. There's, there's no way in hell, dog. So it is what it is. Now, also, there is a new character that is well new characters that are going to be introduced into the dragon ball super which takes place after majin buu majin buu after majin buu after battle of gods and then at some point after the resurrection of frieza from my understanding and for the most part the characters look like the new characters look like beerus bills and Vis. Which is interesting. Now, my automatic assumption... Well, first of all, the character that looks like Beerus, his, his name is... Or its name is Shunpa or Champa. Some, some, some on those lines. And my automatic assumption is multiverse. These guys are from another dimension. Because it could be the case where they're a different set of gods in the same verse. Because Beerus, he's the god of destruction, so there's a god of life, a god of, uh, I don't know, matter, space, time, some shit like that. So, if this person is, let's say, the god of life, that to me is pretty fucking lame. Because they look too alike. I understand life and death, yin and yang, light and dark, I get that shit. But, at the same time... I want to have distinct features for characters that are going to be godly. And plus, Toriyama himself, he introduced the multiverse. And the multiverse, he has not expanded upon that at all. He's not touched upon that at all. Which, to me, was one of the main reasons why I thought uh, the resurrection of Frieza was such a letdown. Because it was like, really, dude? So instead of actually going into the fucking multiverse, you want to revive Frieza? Fuck? Ah, it's, it's, it's lame, whack ass shit. But I'm, I'm still gonna see it anyway. But the fact of the matter is that these guys look almost exactly like Bills and Vs. The guy who looks like Vs, we don't know what his name is yet. There is actually a chapter that came out like recently, like an actual Dragon Ball Super chapter that came out. So I haven't read it yet. I'm gonna read it at some point. But according to the news article stuff, we don't know what his name is yet. The other guy, again, his name is uh, Shun Pa. Now, they appear to be like the de facto bad guys that the series is centered around. That's the way it seems at this point in time. And again, that could change later on. But I'm hoping that because they look so similar to Vis and Bills, that they are from another dimension. That's what I'm praying for. Because if Toriyama actually does that, and it's not in the movie, he's doing a series for it. Which actually may turn out, and probably will turn out better than doing movies. Because movies, you can only do so much in a movie. You only have like, what, an hour and a half, two hours at the most? Eh, 
three hours at the most. If you really want to go that far, you have three hours at most for a fucking movie, okay? And you can only do so much in three hours. If you have an entire series tor towards that, you can do a lot more. So the fact that we're going to see an actual series as opposed to a movie is better if he's actually going to expand upon the multiverse that he created. So again, for like the last time, I'm hoping that these guys are from a different verse and they are coming to the seventh universe or whatever, or whatever number it is, to fuck up shit. That's what I'm hoping for. And I say I'm done. So, King Lightning, give me your thoughts on Dragon Ball Super. And there may be some more news coming out in the near future pertaining to this series. But if not, I will see you guys for the episode one review, probably July 6th or July 7th. So, King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe as always. Have a nice one.